Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Toronto Islands video and I'll talk about everything you need to know about Toronto Islands. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're looking for more Toronto Island video, there will be links in the description box below. What do you need to know about Toronto Islands? The Toronto Islands, also known as the island, is a group of 15 interconnected islands located in the heart of downtown Toronto. The Toronto Islands offer a little piece of paradise away from a big city's hustle and bustle just minutes away from Toronto's waterfront. The island is 5 kilometers long and you can walk from one end to the other. The most three popular islands are Central Island, Ward Island and Hanlands Point. On the islands you'll find sandy swimming beaches including a clothing optional beach on Hanlands Island, bike, canoe and kayak rentals, a boating marina, sports facilities, big grass fields for picnics, a theater, natural trails, fire station, amusement park and 150 year old community of 600 people living in cottage like homes. How long is the ferry ride to the Toronto Islands? The average ferry or taxi ride takes about 10 to 15 minutes. How much does it cost to go to the Toronto Islands? An adult round trip ticket costs $8.70 a one-way taxi ride cost $10, but you don't have to pay coming back to the city taking ferry, even if you took taxi to the island because it's provided for free and no tickets are needed right back from the island to the city. Pro tip, buy ferry tickets online, which is much faster and easier. You can view the City of Toronto ferry tickets online, link in the description box below. How to take the ferry to the Toronto Islands? The ferries to the Toronto Islands depart from Jack Layton Ferry Terminal, uh, which is located on Queen's Key between Young and Bay Street. This is right next to the Westin Harbour Castle Hotel. All three ferry routes to the fer uh, Central Island, Ward Island and Hanlands Point depart from the same terminal next to each other. All three ferry schedules run on an hourly basis. Central Island and Ward Island departing Toronto on the hour and Hanlands Point ferries depart on the half hour. You can visit the City of Toronto ferry schedules link in the description box below. How to take TTC to the Jack Layton ferry terminal? You can take a short walk from the Union Station or you can take a 510 Spadina streetcar or 509 Harbourfront streetcar to the Kuinski stop and walk for one to two minutes. How to take water taxi to the Toronto Island? Several water taxi services depart from downtown Toronto to go to the Toronto Islands such as Central Island, Ward Island and Hanlands Point. The taxis have no fixed schedule and they leave as there's enough people to make the trip profitable. I had trips where there are only 4 passengers on board. There are many water taxi services to choose from such as Tiki Taxi, Pirate Taxi, Toronto Harbour Tours, Toronto Harbour Water Taxi. For water taxi locations, visit their websites and also Harborfront Centre has a map of water taxi locations. Is it better to take a taxi or a ferry ride to the Toronto Islands? Taking a ferry or a taxi to the Toronto Islands cost about the same, only minor difference of $1.30. I have tried both many times and here is my pro tip. Toronto Island ferries give you a different experience than taking taxis. I feel like I'm taking a ship and enjoy the experience of bigger space with more people. But during the weekends or holidays, ferries can get crowded and you may want to avoid that. Water taxis offer faster service with no waiting or maintaining schedule. Water taxis like taking an Uber ride and ferries like taking the subway. Both are excellent and offer different levels of experiences. Which Toronto Islands? is the best to go. Central Island offers the most activities and this is where you'll find most people go. It's got Centerville, amuse amusement park and beautiful lookout point and more places to eat than the others. But Central Island is also the most crowded island. Worst Island. Worst Island is on the east side where you'll find some residences and also has a nice cafe, 
playground, soccer field, beaches and more. Uh, the beach here is less crowded. There are also nice paths and broad walk to a stroll. In my opinion, Wars Island offers the best view of Toronto city and skyline. I also enjoy the solitude of being less crowded. Hanlon's Point Hanlon's Point is right next to the Billy Bishop Airport and you can literally view the park plains and runway. There's also Gibraltar Lighthouse and the only clothing optional beach in Toronto. The clothing optional beach is separated from the regular beach and they're next to each other. In my opinion, Hanlon's Point Beach is the longest and offers best views overlooking downtown Toronto and Mimico skyline. Pro tip, Hanlon's Point is the best place to watch Toronto Canadian International Air Show. In brief, if you're looking for more activities and places to eat, go to Central Island. If you're looking for solitude and relaxation, including a better beach experiences, go to Ward Islands and Hellands Point. Toronto Island Videos If you're looking for more Toronto Island videos, please visit the playlist in the description box below. I'll put all my Toronto Island videos in one place. Thank you for watching this video. There'll be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.